Your level of joy is directly related to your level of peace. Joy cannot show up where there is no peace. And to the degree that you are thankful, then peace can manifest to a greater level. So thankfulness, thankfulness ultimately steers your peace. Then finally, your joy. Isn't that good, Pam? That's really good. Someone once said this, gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness. That's so true. You know, a lot of people, they'll have, they think that they'll have joy if they have more money or power. And there's a lot of wealthy people and powerful people who have zero joy in their life because they have zero peace in their life. And I love, you studied with a, um, a rabbi in, in, through the years, and the word for peace in the Hebrew is shalom. And, and the full ancient meaning of, of shalom is the destruction of the authority of chaos, and then nothing broken, nothing missing, and nothing lacking wholeness, shalom. How's that for a greeting? <laughs> oh, can you just imagine? Shalom, Bob. Destruction on the authority of chaos in your life, then nothing lacking, nothing missing, and nothing broken, and, and you have a good day too, Jimmy. You know, right. isn't that good? Well, that's what we're saying. That's right. Yeah. Without shalom, without peace, you can't hold the joy. Remember Psalm 16, verse 11, it says, in the presence of the Lord, there is joy. Perfect peace is also in God's presence because chaos chaos or stress or anxiety cannot exist there. Enemies of God melt like wax. They evaporate. Pam, they disappear. They cease to exist in the presence of God. It's perfect peace in his presence. Think about Isaiah 26 verse 3. It says, God, you will keep him or her in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Perfect shalom. Well, that's like an open door to a flood wave of joy. There is joy in the presence of God. Okay, so that leads me to the powerful subject of this message, the art of thanksgiving. You know, like there was a book called The Art of War. So I'm not just talking about art with crowns and paint, which is wonderful, but we're talking about something very strategic here. How do we get peace so that we can have joy? Thanksgiving. Look at this, Psalm 100, verse 4. Pam, would you read it for us? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Spiritual protocol for accessing God's presence is, Pam, thanksgiving. That's how high a priority this amazing art is. You enter God's gates with thanksgiving, period. You could pray, God, give me your perfect peace so that I can have your overflowing joy. Well, that's a good place to start, but let me remind you of this. Galatians chapter five says, peace and joy are fruits of the Holy Spirit. Many Christians have fruit on their trees, but no consciousness of how to harvest it. This is where Thanksgiving comes in. Jesus himself, Pam, used Thanksgiving to multiply. That's how he multiplied the five loaves and the two fish. He used Thanksgiving. That's right. 